Hello, Dino Games Dilemmas. Ooh. Ooh. And welcome to <laughs> What Would You Do If? A game that I have borrowed the idea of from Jack Septicai, so I put his link in the Did description. Did Jack make this game? No, but he played it, and I was like, oh, I want to play that. So his video's in the description. What is this game, Phil? We're going to get some dilemmas with some <laughs> options of how we will cope uh, with we'll, it. We'll be given a question, and then we have to say, what would you do if... Yeah, so it's this... like a badger runs into your house. Do you stroke it? Do you put it in a cage? Or do you keep it as a pet? Are any of those the appropriate response to a <laughs> Probably magic not. Name? Definitely not. I'd like okay. it as a pet. A big brown circle. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say this is the, the worst menu of any game I've ever played. I'm, I'm a bit concerned that you're seeing it as a brown circle when it's definitely a black circle. I mean, <laughs> it's my perspective on the monitor. That is a black circle. New everybody. video. Okay. Getting Dan's eyes checked. Ooh, aesthetic gradient. Sorry, Ooh. no, this is about the questions. Right, are you ready for your first dilemma? Yeah. Oh, God, this is one of those things where this is really going to say a lot about our personalities, then you're going to judge us. So if <laughs> I we, think like, it's fun. admit like... to any crimes or anything weird, please <laughs> We're don't We're learning unsubscribe. things about each other, and oh, you're God. learning things about us. Do this yourself and compare it to the results. Play along. <laughs> Phil. What would you do if you found yourself in possession of an illegal firearm? How do I know it's illegal? I mean, all firearms are illegal in In, in the in UK, England. yep. So yep. you open the drawer, you find a gun. Whose drawer? A, a drawer. The mayor's drawer. I don't know, stop <laughs> quizzing me. Do you keep the gun for protection, murder someone <laughs> or a number of people, that? or turn it into the I police? I turn it into the police. But Phil, whoa, whoa, what? whoa, before you click. What? Maybe they'd be like, hey there, Mr. Philly. What you got yourself an illegal weapon for? I'd planning on doing some some sneaky shooting? I'd say I was in the mayor's secret office and I opened the drawer looking for a stapler. What if it was your bedside drawer? Oh, then I'd say someone broke into my house and put it there, and I'm giving it to you. A likely story. And I'd put okay, it, so I'd, wait, I'd put it in a, in a cloth bag without touching it with my own hand, so there'd be no fingerprints, and then they'd know I didn't touch it. Unless I did touch it and then wiped it down and then did that, but they wouldn't know that. This sounds like something that you've thought through. Yeah, and, I mean, uh, it's a thing. Has this happened to you before? No. So you Click turn in. it into the police, yeah. okay. Well, th and that is what most people would do. <laughs> what I'm scared is 9% of the internet are murderers, or would be. I'd murder somebody or a I number guess. of people. Life isn't Grand Theft Auto, guys. All right, Dan, this next one's for you. <laughs> what would you do if the house you're in is on fire? I mean, it would be very good for your username. Yeah. yeah. Um, save yourself. <laughs> save the poor kitten. We don't have pets. Stop rubbing it in game. Or save all the people but you die. I think all Fuck the people that. is me. Because um, okay. I'm in the house, right? Some, sorry, With a kitten. Mate. It's me and a kitten. <laughs> well, that says like, am I choosing between you and a kitten? Or am yeah. I just saving myself? I feel like because the internet's watching, I have to say, I'd save everybody but me. But is that what you'd really do? Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, oh, see, okay, this is what shocks me. Yeah. Nobody's watching people select these, I and know. yet people selected the good answer see, there. See, everyone is inherently good. Maybe, I want to or believe. as we keep going, maybe people will get less scared by right. the next question. They'll okay. be like, yeah, I'll murder someone, Let's and see. what? Bring it on. Bring it on. Phil, what would you do if you could stop time? Ooh, I'd draw in everyone's faces. <laughs> That's always where my mind goes with that one. Well, let's see. Get enough sleep every day. That is the most depressingly That's, relatable I thing know. I got about, about society. Five hours sleep last night, so I could do with that. Pervy stuff. Pervy what like what is a pervy stuff? Is that like <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying what's what like how pervy are we talking? As pervy as you want, mate. Oh my god. Time has stopped. That's that's, I, I as think, long as you don't leave a trace. <laughs> I think time would come back though, like midway going into some kind of locker room. That was always the thing. Would you go into the locker room? Just so stop, stop right time? now. Just you, know, saying, you know what I said two minutes ago yeah. about us I'm not saying it. incriminating ourselves. I'm not You've saying I want to do it. Gun and now the pervy stuff. I'm just saying. Or would you disappear in the middle of a conversation? Oh my God, that's what I would do all the time. <laughs> I'd be like having an awkward moment. Bye. And then I'd just disappear. I and think the person would be like, what happened? And I'd be like, haha, one more thing I didn't have to react to. I think I would do the third one because you could use it as some kind of magic act and then get loads of money in Las Vegas because you're the disappearing man. And that's, yeah. Not you, not you, the pervy you can stuff. Tell the audience that, let's see. 43% <laughs> said pervy you stuff. You perverts. Okay, <laughs> next, moving on. Damn, everything yep. you touch turns into gold. <laughs> would you get rich but miserable? Yeah, okay, God. Don't touch anything. Or do pervy stuff. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's just use it as a party trick. This is a stupid question. In a universe where that makes sense, I just use it as a party trick. All right. Phil, 
What would you do if you got stuck in the sewers, <laughs> I like me, all the time spiritually? If I did fall in the su sewers, I would get lost forever. Because whenever there's a sewer in a video game, I get lost in the sewer. Sounds Jesus. like you're the first answer. Wait for three months until help comes! Help me! That's the fit. Or would you try to swim out in all the dirty <laughs> Swim out? What, yeah. to the ocean? To all the water <laughs> processing grates? Or lick peanut butter off a hobo's foot to be free. What? Well, that is so specific. I th w would you would you lick someone's foot if they said they'd let you out, or would you wait three months? I would lick someone's foot to get out of the sewer because sewers are pretty stinky, and I also believe that there are mutant crocodiles beneath London. And what you want to lick their feet? Or well, no, I just I just believe get. that they are. Phil there. would lick a foot rather than stay somewhere yes. for three months. That's what we've learned. All right. Okay. Most people would swim out. Oh. Scary. I would not be able to swim out. Dan, your best friend has passed away. And you're, you're, you've unknowingly been hanging out with their twin. Oh my, oh my god! god. It's, it's not... actually Dan and Fernando games. Yeah. Who are you? I'm not Fernando. Look, ask me something that Fernando wouldn't know. I mean, you've been Fernando the whole time. Oh. So what's something Phil would know is the question. Anyway. Continue the friendship. Continue the friendship with, with Fernando. Me. I mean, Come isn't on. the name Phil or Fernando's personality that, that I like? That means I can use my real voice now. Continue the friendship, Daniel. Bye, mate. End the friendship. Oh. Sorry, I feel betrayed. Or either one of the two, and then write about it. Best-selling novel. <laughs> yes, mate. Is that your next book? I mean, look, who selected that one? 65%. Get a best-selling book out of it and continue the friendship. Dan and Fernando Games. Thumbs up if you want it to continue. Rebranding incoming. Phil. Yes. What would you do if... You shit every time you sit down. <laughs> what? What kind of question is Dick, that? I mean, answer one is stink all day. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think B that was. is never sit down. Oh, but I like sitting or down. Or C is constantly spray perfume. Oh. I mean, I, get, I don't know how well thought through this is, but okay. where's your mind going? I would get there? some iron plated underwear and then fill it with a layer of poopery. That stuff that you spray in the toilet bowl and then it makes everything smell nice. And then I'd just be kind of uncomfortably sitting in it, but nobody would know. No. And then I could sit down because I wouldn't want to stand up all the time because my legs get tired. But how, how big are these iron pants? Like eventually no, you shit so much you just explode. No, I take them off when I went to the bathroom and clean them. Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't wear them forever. Right. Yeah, that <laughs> makes sense. So basically, you've gone with constantly spray perfume yeah. in a very elaborate way there. That uh, is, pe most people went with never, never sit, down. sit down. Okay, enjoy your lives. You are suddenly elected as the president of the United States. Oh God. Daniel Trump. Do you want to resign immediately, <laughs> run the country for the greater good, or bring chaos to the people? I like to think I would be a benevolent dictator. Um, so for the greater good? I mean, realistically, I'd bring chaos to the people, but I like to think I'd run it for the greater good. Okay, greater good. Let's see what a lot of people oh. really think they'd be a good president. I'm scared of the chaos. Philu. Yasu. You just spawned inside a boxing ring with Mike Tyson during a fight. Oh no. What do you do? Do you take the fight? Curl up in a ball. Do you jump out and avoid it? Or do you let him win by a knockout? Why would you let him win? Yes, punch what? me, dad. <laughs> I guess that's why. I would curl up in a ball and cry. Uh, if I got over the fear, I would try and run out of the ring, hit my face on the side of it, and get punched in That's the face. That's a solid jump out. Yeah. Okay, let's see. M most people would also jump out. Not it too many brave out. people taking that. Dan, what would you do if you became a spider? If... <laughs> 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 if I became a spider? Yeah. Okay, not looking. Would you try to signal to your family or friends, like, <laughs> Help, I'm re- I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. No. Accept who, who wouldn't kill me that I know? I like this one. Accept your fate and live a spider life. Okay, eating spider spies and freaking people out. Or crawl onto people. Does they say spies then, or flies? You said spies. <laughs> dun 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 dun. Or crawl onto people and explore the world. Crawling onto people and exploring the world? That's I mean, that, that sounded like exploring their bodies. That's, that's without sound, consent. It sounds very much like you're gonna go on someone's body and then they're just gonna kill you. Um, I would definitely just live out my spider life. What? Yeah, I mean, without without the weight of human society's pressures and expectations, I could just quite happily spin a web, <laughs> chill out, <laughs> nibble on some bees. Those spiders live for like a week. Ideal. Accept your fate. Wow, that one was Whoa. divisive. Most people would explore the world. I mean, you could you could do that as a human, you, you know. Just go. It would be a lot slower now. as a spider. Just saying. Oh dear, Phil. What would what? you do if you got the opportunity to visit space? Ooh. Okay, so you've got three fantasy scenarios. Okay. What is the dream you want to accomplish the most? Hang out with an alien. We're gonna read these backwards. Uh, sing life on Mars on Mars. That sounds quite epic, but mm -hmm. no one can hear you scream in space, so they can't hear you sing either. 
I'm just saying. I mean, I presume you'd have some recording equipment if you got to Mars. <laughs> Moonwalk like Michael Jackson on the moon. Nice. Mm -hmm. I like that. Or have an orgasm. <laughs> Did I actually zero, say that? Zero gravity orgasm. What? You're all thinking it. I'm sure people have done that before and that is just already scientifically 100%. documented. I mean, it's pretty obvious what would happen. Let's not think about it too much. How much privacy? Do they, they're all just in like sleeping bags. They're just trapped in their suits. Yeah. Let's, let's, no, let's no. return to the, what would you Whoa. choose, Phil? I, I, I would moonwalk like Michael Jackson on the moon and film it, upload it on YouTube. Brilliant. You'd probably jump too far and then get floating just, into space. Sandra Bullock on Most the people agree. Nice. nice. What would you do if you became a god? <laughs> Come on. Oh, well, da, this, da, is, this da. is it. This is as epic as it gets. This is the right. finale for Dan. Would you incinerate the world? Tempting. Drink an endless supply of beer. That's such a laddie <laughs> answer. That's such a... Lads, lads, lads. lads. Ooh, ooh, if I was god and had yeah. uh, omnipotence, I would drink infinite beer. Infinite beer. Or fight Hades. That's some Mark of Oxen shiz, that. That that sounds dramatic. Yeah. Uh, I'd go for incinerate a world and, and make a good one without what? any You're gonna incinerate me? Definitely, I can make a better one. Oh. Uh, wow, most people went with Fight Hades. I'd like to see that. Very brave. So is, it, is now the last one for me? Yeah, Phil, are okay. you ready for this? Phil Lester. Yes. What would you do if you had to live with a monkey that <laughs> would become very aggressive yeah. unless you either have sex with the monkey once a month. What? No, I'm not having sex with the monkey. Have a loving, intimate, non-sexual relationship. Yes. Spooning and kissing. I would spoon a monkey for sure. Kiss. Marry. Get, get, sleep with. Kiss? I didn't say kiss. That's non-sexual. It can be like a friendly kiss, a romantic one. All right. Or marry it and become like any married couple. I... Mm, <laughs> so that, that could have a lot of drama and tears. I mean... You'd fight non-aggressively. Right. Or, I mean, you, you couldn't have anyone else in your life oh my if you have this loving relationship or just once a month spank I'm monkey. not no just I, once no a month. I'm not but then you it. get to live a normal Stop life it. and illegal. then like a non-dramatic no, married life not, it's it's the no. least harrowing on right. a day to day Listen, basis it's I, just one traumatizing day Stop. and depending on the species You're, of monkey that's what you want to do it might uh, That's, it sounds like you want to do we're that we're just debating right now well, don't infer anything let me tell you my answer i would spoon the monkey and watch some Game of Thrones, and then go to bed. What would you do if you rooms? were watching Game of Thrones and then it threw feces at the TV? I mean, I would just have to deal with that. I'd, Rather than I'd just wipe once, it off. once a month. No. One, okay. That's the end. No monkey sex. Have a lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't think that's where this video would go when we started. Oh <laughs> my god. End. Have that's a it. loving, intimate, non-sexual relationship. And see, that is the popular answer. There we go. Okay. See, compared to Google Feud, yeah, or other ones. This website has been much more reassuring about yeah. our fellow humans. You guys are alright out there, mostly. To be, to be, <laughs> I mean, mostly. 17% Phil. 17%! 17% of you Ooh. watching right now, once a month. Oh my gosh. I'm just saying statistics, 17% that's, of that's the people. A lot. Okay. Let's not think about it. So that was what would you do if... <laughs> oh god, that was uh, an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> I'm sorry if we shared too much there. I feel there. like we overshared. Please don't judge us. But we shared, we learned It was things. just a game. None yeah. of it was serious and things that we, would be uncovered by a psychotherapist. So if you enjoyed that and you'd like to see it again, give us a thumbs up. No, please god no, that was traumatizing. What would you do if you gave us a thumbs up? You'd be happier. <laughs> oh, oh, who knows? Maybe you'd leave or maybe you just don't want a thumbs up. Because no. you're not about that life. You can click over there What's to over subscribe there? <laughs> yeah. over there to watch one of our other videos. Check out our channels, and we'll see you next time if you come back after that monkey question. Bye. <laughs>